Nothing ever happens in West Memphis, Arkansas. We've had three children missing since last night. Three young boys murdered in cold blood. It appeared that they had been sexually mutilated. Is it your opinion that these crimes were motivated by occult beliefs? Yes. Arrested at 2.44 p.m., charged with three counts of capital murder. It was like a nuclear bomb going off in the courtroom. Life imprisonment without parole. Death by lethal injection. And the terror of mortal men looked favorably on my sacrifice. case with a confession would be easier as opposed to one without direct evidence. I read the confession on the front page just like everybody else did. Jesse's borderline mentally retarded. The statement was put in his mouth by the police. They beat up all three of them. And then they took their clothes off. And then, they, then they tied them. Then they tied them up. This case is nothing out of the ordinary. You're dealing with three kids, bottom of the barrel, poor white trash. Here's the state of Arkansas refusing to let the truth shine on this case. My role when I was brought in was primarily to analyze the case, to see does it really fit the three people they have in prison. They are seeking merely the opportunity to have the fair trial they have never had. And the reason I'm hesitating, I'm trying to think if that's a question that I should be answering. I said, just between me and you, did you do it? And he said, yes, and he went into detail. Jason told me how he dismembered the kid. Did Damien invite you to some meeting? A cult, satanic meeting. I was just a big liar, and I really was. I was doing a lot of LSD. I remember not knowing why I was doing what I was doing. This case is outrageous. Feeling funny in my mind. You're dealing with a horrendous crime. There's savage injuries. It affects people and it warps their judgment. There's careers at stake. There's promotions at stake. There's agendas. DNA testing has been done. There's powerful evidence that points towards another suspect. The focus is always on the family. So that you start from there and you work your way out. He didn't voluntarily give us this DNA. We waited in the living room while he was in the bathroom, and that's when I took the cigarette butts out of the ashtray. It's not just new scientific evidence, it's new evidence. I'd give my life to know the fucking truth. Miss Kelly's confession wasn't supposed to be injected into the second trial at all, but it was. There's nothing more poisonous than having a confession in a jury room. If that allegation is borne out, they have to throw this case out. Burnett was wrong in the decisions that he made. Well, I had to fool with it for 18 years. No one wants to admit that they made a mistake. We don't believe that people of Arkansas are going to be satisfied until there is a new trial. The option to reopen the case was presented to him, and he went, no, we found them guilty, we're done. We got 17 years invested in sticking to this story, and that makes it even harder. This is going to be a happy ending. There's just got to be a happy ending to this. There are a lot of people in prison because of this. Not only is the state getting away with it, but the person who killed those three kids is still out there walking on the street.